What's going on, Law Fam? Lay, man, it's your favorite tool. Hey, man, it's the real Law Twin. Did it? Yeah, man, we got all the receipts now. The receipts is, hey, if you've been watching our past videos about the whole Cat Williams thing, man. all the receipts is on the on the table. Time to wrap it up. So, hey, this is, we gonna, you know, this is the end of the saga. We gonna go and check out all these receipts and what people had to say. And they hot take. Yeah. You know we gonna give our hot take. Basically, they saying Cat ain't capped about nothing. And so everything he said is some proof out here. It's hit. not a fat phase on lie. And we gonna see. With that back, but let's get into the video, man. Y'all smash the like button. Make sure y'all sharing this video and make sure you subscribe, nigga. Don't be dumb, nigga. Damn, press play, boy. Is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. And the reason I had to come is because you've made a safe place for the truth to be told. You want to set the record straight? Are you kidding me? You let Ricky Smiley sit here and you said out that mouth, you stole Friday After Next, the one I was in. You stole the show in Friday After, in Friday after Next. Yeah. This man told you he had Cat Williams. Wait, so I never understood that. He said that that nigga stole the show like, you was the breakout performer. And oh, like that's what he, oh, he said Ricky Smiley stole yeah, it? Yeah, you stole the show in Friday after the next. Oh, like he said his part is what took the, the cake. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, he said, you said out that mouth. I didn't know what he meant by that, but now I know. Yeah, that was some just some good interview skills for real. Real talk. Because they create He's conversation. He's giving love yeah. and uh, words. He stole the show, right? Mm-hmm role he was gonna be money mike Wait. and cat williams was gonna be was gonna be the santa claus and somebody said no we want you to play mike the uh, beaver ass santa claus right then, <laughs> yeah because cat williams was gonna be the santa claus right now let's three quick points three quick. you mean in hollywood they cast a five foot five black santa claus that weigh 145 pounds <laughs> that's your story he told you the story about when the movie came out where did he say he watched it at home. Friday after next come out. I get my kids. Where are we going? We're going to the movies. We're going to see Friday after next. Right. But they didn't know I was in the theater. Right. He wasn't even at the premiere. I'm out in Hollywood. They switched off roles. You take this and he. What? <laughs> and then, uh, and they switched it over. Right. I was audition number 201. 200 black comedians auditioned for the role of Money Mike with me. I, when I auditioned, I auditioned for Mighty Mike. Right. You're saying all 201 of us was auditioning and you had already had the role and had already shot the role in four days? Hit my role like in four days. Right. They shot all my stuff in four days. The truth of the matter is the Money Mike in the original script got raped in the bathroom and that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with. You know, so when I went in there to audition, I'm at the toilet. Uh, when, when Cat Williams right. went to use the bathroom, right. that was that was that's the line I had to use to audition. I put in my contract mm. that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Big movie. Then I end up doing uh, First Sunday. Yep. Uh, did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did. It's in my contract. This is not even my church. I I saw this. On my space, all of the parents. Oh, oh my God! Down here to get baptized without giving them a hot bath. Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked Damn. him, "Did you steal Cat Williams' joke?" But Cat, I mean, Cat said you stole one of his jokes. Yeah. yeah. He said it don't line up. He was talking about it don't even match up with no timelines. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018? <laughs> You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Cedric, don't sit down, man. Don't do the joke. Don't line up. He I, did it. This is a televised joke. Feels that, uh, someone else has stolen some of your material? Oh, that, that's a part of this business. Right. Like, Same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do it. Wait, did he just say, oh, that's a part of this business? That's ugly. That's kind of like rap, though. I ain't gonna say you didn't do it, but it. say it's a part of the business. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. But that's what, it, uh, they're, they're 
contradict themselves after a while. Yeah. Because the it's truth like, you, yeah, it's gonna gonna spill keep out. seeping it's out like, oh, your man, that's a part. Why don't you just say that from man. the beginning? Just say, yeah, I took it. It was a good joke. Like, I'm not going to lie. I kind of revamped kinda, it yeah, in my own I did it in my Be like Drake. What's going to change in life if you admit it? Be like Drake when you uh, when you steal. Say you paying homage. Man, just homage. <laughs> I was paying homage. I just it was paying a homage great to a, a joke. Drake, and I just song. put my own little spin on it. Don't lie and say you ain't do it. Ain't Come do it. see Wanda at crazy. the Atlanta Comedy Theater. No, I'm just playing. I just had to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Old sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Oh, yeah, you'll need this. A whistle? Oh, Mark, I'm teaching music, not gym. Standard issue. Screaming for help only excites the kids. <laughs> Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Hightower. People will take your stuff. I'm a new music teacher. These dudes lie. Man. Cedric's sitting here telling you why he Crazy. ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach. This is some internet shit. Internet. Oh, my God. Look, see, first of all, you ain't got to put no receipts to Cedric looking like a walrus, bro. Huh. If he look like a walrus, we know. Yeah, why is this a receipt? Y'all crazy. Like, whoever put this they together, had to crazy. match it up. Yeah, they had to put it. He over here looking It's like comedy. It. Yeah, I swear to God. They done, whoever made this is comical. I can say, so, you know. Sitting over here. Why I'm not a movie star. Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat phase on liar. There's nobody yeah, like you, me in the business. Faison just called a straight. Faison said that. Getting a Netflix special is easy. I have 12 specials. Guess how many things I got? Zero. Okay, but, but seriously, though, if you look at your career, have you done better with stand-up or acting? I'm, I have, you know, it's, it's almost time to retire. Okay. Uh, so, I, I, I don't make any money. If you sign up for their program... Whoa, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, well, that's, it's, Faison said what he said. Yeah, he's just saying there ain't, ain't no money in it no said more. said it ain't really... No money in it for him. Faison was looking like a walrus. So I had a plan. His hands were stuck. Big perm. In a light skin, weird face wife. That oh, shit. Damn. Mike Epps caught a stray. Eddie. Damn. Damn. They all the same. No disrespect to y'all. I don't care. Maybe y'all all like the same type. I ain't even about all that. Look at Marty Mart, man. man. I was gonna say, look at Martin though. He Marty got, Mart. He's smiling. <laughs> I don't know none of their names for real. I don't know. None I know Aniko. Yeah, Aniko. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if she do. But yeah, I, I just know she Aniko. Yeah, she Aniko as fuck. Mm. Never do an More interview. Oh, in Listen, in twenty years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever talked to her, and that she's never been interviewed anywhere. And now, understand, I'm not talking about one person. What I just told you applies to seven people. How they all end up with that. That's part of what you get. Be the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and ain't never done a hard drug in his life and don't have no stories of doing nobody dirty. What was your risk? He chose drugs. And, and they'll just go out and they'll lie. The, the industry doesn't mess with cat. Kevin, I hate you for that one. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I'm not saying you lied or you didn't see something with your eyes. I'm saying, man, when the on. combat was on, he was talking shit to you, and you threw a narrative instead of just saying something to the nigga. Like, I don't like that. Cause you didn't show up for the studio. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You fucked off promo shoots. You fucked off your promo fucking uh, trips that they had set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped fucking with you. Well, no studios have ever said that. Look at my IMDb. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. Well, I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand-up because he had seven TV shows. The Years later, I had, at one time, seven TV shows running concurrent on the air. Only problem is, when he stopped stand-up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. Years later, I had, at one time, seven TV shows running concurrent on the air. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. 
Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw a cat 30 times. You know, even before then, right. I've seen this guy 30 times. Like, dog, if you literally was that upset, upset about, about it, it, like, dog, why you say nothing? Like that. <laughs> and cat didn't do, as I stand before you. <laughs> as I stand before you. <laughs> I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Change the content yeah. because that's all you know me for is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. All like all my enemies all look the same in the eyes, whether it's Faison, Wanda, Aries, Spears, they all look like. Man, what you? I remember on the radio, you went on the radio interview. If I'm not oh, mistaken, that's in the land. Same in the yeah. eyes. And you came on there with seemingly good intentions. And oh, she yeah. attacked you. It wasn't just that part. It was the fact that before I go in there, she has a conversation about, okay, now, well, I just want to talk to you because you just won an Emmy for the city of Atlanta, and this is in Atlanta, and they just want to hear about the Emmy and hear from you and to thank you for what you did putting the city on. Right. <laughs> and we won't talk about your kids. We won't talk about jail. We're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Telling us about what's going on in jail. Not the right one in jail, though. Get this inmate out of here. <laughs> and, you're, and you're big Turn in it prison. Down. And you're yes, big in prison. I've never been to prison. Oh, you have 19 felonies, time. no convictions. Yeah. Knock yeah. it off. Prison okay. and jail aren't the same. No, 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 no cases. We ain't gonna talk about uh, that. Right. And immediately gets in there and goes the opposite way. I said, seven, what they like. Excuse me. Excuse I, excuse me. me. I said, answering. what are they like? You, you Just because think. you're a poor interviewer doesn't mean. <laughs> Man. Never gonna say anything disrespectful to people that look like you. I'm, I'm, it's a very thin line. Only one of us has twelve dollars worth of jewelry on. Great right. shout outs to Forever Twenty One. Yeah, like this collection. Yeah. <laughs> they tried to kill me this same weekend, not in jokes, with a real gun in my real face on real camera. Understand, I'm losing my life for participating in something that goes along with my job. Like, it's two comedians. What do you mean? Action. That she said it was going to be very professional. Oh, you want an Emmy? Congratulations. You put the city on. You own for the city. Yada, yada, yada. And now, what, did she mention anything about the Emmy on camera? I believe you saw the video, and hey, you know. If, if, if you can't get your blood pressure down, you can't call me down. Whatever, little mama. If your cholesterol is 600. Whatever, little mama. I'm little mama's baby daddy. No, you wait class. Is that what you wanted to do? No, you little mama. No. That she was out of her she was on that when it came to. She because was I don't want to do any of it. I know you didn't want didn't to, want to do but once she took it there, you did you feel that you had to go there? What you think, Uncle Shay Shay? Oh, you could have You could have said, Wanda, I didn't come here for that. I just want to do the interview. I just want to talk about what happened. Oh, you misunderstand my job. My, <laughs> my job is to be funny. <laughs> Man, <laughs> first. My job is to be funny first. This has a learning experience. Most comedians don't get booed enough. Real talk. Think about this. You're stuck in traffic, and the lights turn blue. I, mean, that happened for real? Like, I gotta watch that shit tonight. That made me a Who is thief. she? I gotta, I gotta watch that. The whole thing. I ain't never watched nobody get booed before. Like all the way. We should watch, watch whoever. We should watch a compilation of comedians getting booed. I like, think that she should said, be funny. She tried to She said, Oh, 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 oh. That's not funny. Nah. <laughs> I don't believe that that really that was a movie. That's or not funny. That wasn't real. <laughs> like she ain't was, said, he she had too many people. She had long. too many people in that crowd for that to have been real. No, nah, it was packed. It was too packed for her she to sold, suck. She sold that bitch out. Or she had she to open be, it. She had to be something. Cause there's no way they all came and she nothing. She said the lights turned blue. Yeah, she was. I couldn't even hear her. Was that a kind of? She was low. They was low. They was like it was. They was off. Was that a crip joke? Like, what happened? I don't know. Blacks and who's a real African doing a fake African accent. Okay, move those. Stop, you motherfuckers! <laughs> when you think about it, he really doesn't sound like he a real African yeah. doing a fake African accent. Yeah, it's like it didn't really. You're like, hey, Michael Blackson, you a, you funny though. Yeah. I give it to no, him. He, he, His responses was yeah. kind of funny. He like, do some stuff shit. he was saying was hilarious, but that's kind of funny to for that to be to think like he a real African, but doing a fake. Like he came out of Madagascar, and you like. 
Cat really got on a lot of people's ass if y'all think funny. about it. He covered a lot of ground in one fucking interview. Like he, yeah. he took some he took some helmets off, man. You ever seen a tackle where the helmet come off? Uh -huh. A lot of those. He got chains and shit though. Hey, <laughs> this nigga put on anything. Man. Yeah, don't glass. I ain't gonna lie, Michael Blackson right. be just wearing shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cadet Kelly. He was wearing there, anything man. for real. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna send me a cat, but like, you know, <laughs> this guy is mad at me. All I did was give him the best advice of his life. Remember, he was wearing dirty dashikis, dashikis. and I told him he needed to dress to be in the position that he's trying to say that he's in. And if you're the African king of comedy, sir, there's actually comedians in Africa doing comedy. If you for the African king of comedy, ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael. Blackson. Try to put in some work. And these guys, they take my advice, they change their whole persona, and and then they hate me for it. And you know what? I mean, I'm not gonna send me a cat been like, you know, best friends or with friends. They were more like we've been always been like associates. Like you know. <laughs> This is the record. 2024. <laughs> and never has sucked a penis. That was my only goal. I didn't want to get with a white woman because I was scared she might have me running down the street like Jonathan Bages. Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four. That's $200 million, y'all. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting the body. Well, I like when you like this guy. You party for my birthday. No. You came to my party. You know? No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I, and you got to tell him no. <laughs> you got to tell him no. You got to tell him no. You got to tell him no. Hey, man. If y'all if y'all just don't party party. Um... Yeah, man. Shout out, shout out to Catwoods, man. Yeah, that was man. the, shout that was all Cat the receipts. Woods. You know what I'm saying? We had to come through. That was look started at that the year off, man. He got everybody. It's so much more going on because of Cat. I feel like he been the inspiration for a lot of people speaking their truths. I don't know if there is, you know, but yeah, man. I hope y'all enjoyed these videos, man. It's real me. law twins, you did. Hey, and stay tuned for the next videos, man, and let mm -hmm. us know what else y'all would like to see. Those were the receipts. I'm about to fly away because I'm capable of doing that shit.